Ike. Monster on the beat, ho. Deep, oh, any rap, nigga, he a freak, though. Man, damn, call like Ember Lambs. Tell him, please, bro. Nelly. What up, YouTube? This your boy DIY Kari coming to you with another video. Today we got a special shoe coming from my good people, my OGs, people that helped me get in the game in the beginning of reviewing these shoes for you guys. And it is going to be aceshoe.ru. That's going to be the information right there, the IG website, and my discount code to save yourself some cash when you check out. In case you buy these shoes or any other shoe that you might see on the website. But before we get into the shoe, you know I got to get this out the way. This is an informational video. Everything you hear from this video is my opinion and my opinion only. And I'm merely educating myself and y'all at the same time. So without further ado, please make sure y'all like, comment, subscribe, especially if you're new. I keep banging out videos at least three times a week but we're gonna get straight into the shoe right off the bat i'm gonna show y'all the box get that out the way like i said this is gonna be a retro 11 low and i believe this one is gonna be called the diffuse blue unreleased pair so y'all getting the first look at what is upcoming box did get a little banged up in transit which can happen with any box they did double box it it just happens so i can't can't knock them for that but they always on point with their packaging i can tell you that right off the bat you see that carbon fiber paper and you got a little glimpse of that shoe straight into the shoes like I said these are the 11 low diffuse blue from ace shoe.ru once again thank you to them for sending these pair out for me to review for y'all starting at the back you see that Jordan logo and you see the raised part right here on the hill bottom you got that milky outsole. It's not the icy blue. I actually like this one with the color. I feel like it goes best with it, but that's just my opinion. A lot of people like the um, icy outsole. I'm cool either way. They both look good. I just know this one takes longer to change colors. Y'all know those ice outsoles. After a few wears, you're already seeing that color change. But hey, to each his own. You also got that Jordan in the middle. And this is gonna be real carbon fiber. Real carbon fiber, y'all. That's why you can hear that. It's not plastic, it's real carbon fiber. <laughs> Going to the upper, you see that shiny patent leather. That's supposed to be the diffuse blue. Then you got that mesh with the Jordan logo in the middle. <laughs> Stitching's on point. That's in the correct spot. Stitching pretty much all around the shoe is on point. No flaws. And to point this out, which I started pointing out before, there is no glue lines whatsoever there's no smell i took these straight out the box did not have to wash them did not have to hose them down did not have to do nothing but yeah <laughs> straight to the insole my favorite insole for any shoe i wish this was in all jordans like hands down this is like the best insole it's gonna be a dream so Like, like this is the most comfortable insole you could have in any shoe. And to let this, this shoe is true size, just to let y'all know, try them on before shooting this video. They do fit perfect. So you can get your size. If you like your Jordan's 11s a little bit snugger, 
go down a size, but they are true to size. Or if you're trying to get them for kids and let them grow in it, you can go up. But like I said, this is my size, size 10. Laces. Old fashioned lace, not old fashioned, but these are laces that always come in retro 11s. The, these are perfect, lined up correctly. <laughs> Toe box, sleek look. On point. So y'all can see both shoes together. No complaints at all with these. Like I said, my biggest complaint usually be the glue lines, which since it's patent leather from a white mid, it is gonna be noticed. And like, you can't see no glue lines whatsoever on these. Like, they definitely did a great job with these, if I say so myself. Which Ace shoes, I've never had any bad experience with them. All the shoes have been on point. The packaging's on point. Everything's usually on point. This is the insert that comes in the shoe. Cardboard insert with the Jordan logo on it. Like I said, no complaints at all. Let me know what y'all think about these in the comments below. If y'all will be copying these. Like I said, they are true to size, no flaws. Again, a shoe. Thank you for sending these out for me to review. For those that love retro 11s, I feel like these are definitely a cop when they do release if you want them early check out a shoe they definitely have them and i think that don't quote me on this but i think they have extended sizes i can't remember i have to i'll actually have it in the um description if they have extended sizes or not but yeah man let me know what y'all think on these if y'all like them if it's a L, if it's a win, just let me know what y'all think. I know I like them, and I will be copying another pair when they come out. But all in all, great job, A shoe. And yeah, we're gonna sign out for the day. Like, I don't have nothing bad to say about these. No flaws, no nothing. It's your boy DIY Kari signing out. Make sure y'all like, comment, subscribe, especially if you're new. Cause I got more videos on the way. Peace.